I'm about to show you how to make hundreds of dollars in a single day without writing a single line of code. And you can start doing this today with just your laptop. And today we're talking about making real money using nothing but Google Maps and AI apps. Now you might think that you need years of coding experience or thousands of dollars in startup capital. But what if I told you that that is completely wrong? In this video, I'm going to reveal the exact step-by-step -step system to build a professional iPhone app in just 15 minutes, find local businesses through Google Maps and sell them an app as a service, all without writing a single line of code. Now, most people think that app development is only for tech experts with computer science degrees. But here's what they don't know. There's one AI tool that's completely revolutionized everything. And this tool can build your entire app for you. And it's so simple that if you prompt a message, you can build a professional app with complex features and actually use it on your own phone. I'm going to walk you through my exact three step process. First, how to use this game changing AI tool to build your app in minutes. Second, how to use Google Maps to find businesses that desperately need your services. And third, how to sell them your app and collect hundreds of dollars per client. Now, this is an untapped business model, and that means you have a huge advantage if you start today. Now, the AI tool that allows you to build iPhone and Android apps is Rourke. I added a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out too. Important disclaimer, building apps and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. Because when I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many apps well they don't make money at all so I'm not promising that you'll get rich or that you quit your job this isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme either I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you all right so with our expectations set let's continue to build the app all right so now we're moving on to the actual build and this is where we define exactly what the app needs to do since the goal is to streamline property inspections the AI needs clear instructions to create something sleek, functional, and mobile first. Now, this is all happening inside of Rourke, an AI-powered platform that allows you to build fully functional mobile apps without having to write a single line of code. So here's what we're going to describe to Rourke. I want to build a modern app that focuses on property inspections, include a clean layout and a professional mobile first design with icons, checklists, and inspection visuals. The main goal is to help users complete property inspections faster using digital tools. With the ability for users to perform property inspections digitally, customizable property inspection templates, users to flag issues or defects during inspections, and a professional inspection report instantly. Now with Rourke, you simply describe what you want and it spins up a working mobile app in just minutes. No setup, no coding, just clear results. Now once that's all in, the system gets to work. Now the initial version here loads with a clean and responsive layout that already includes the core elements we're looking for. Everything feels pretty structured and intuitive, even in this early preview stage. Next, we want to make sure users can actually perform property inspections directly on their mobile devices, even when they're offline. Now, this means adding room by room checklists, giving our users the ability to capture photos or videos on the spot, record voice notes or text annotations, and of course, collect digital digital signatures from tenants, owners, or property managers. It also needs to support GPS tagging for each inspection and store everything locally on their devices if there's no internet connection. And once we describe all of that, the app updates to include a tabbed layout for smoother navigation and shows us a section for tracking recent inspections. But there is a potential issue flagged right away. So all I'm going to do is hit the fix now button and confirm it. And with that done, it's time to test how the new inspection 
inspection feature works. After launching it and entering some details, the app shows a structured checklist, space for notes, and a section for adding a digital signature. And everything fills out smoothly, and I'm going to tap the complete inspection button at the end, but the app is not behaving as I expected to. Something is a little off, but to fix it, I just go back and I'll tell the AI, capture photos or videos directly on the app for property conditions and make sure it is fully functional. And this time, try and again, I'm gonna tap the new inspection icon and this time it takes me to a new entry page where I can start logging property issues. I'm gonna add some details, I'm gonna check the location and then tap take photo to capture the problem. But the camera doesn't open up, so I need to clarify the fix. I'll just go back and enter this. The take photo button is not working. Make sure when the user clicks the button, it should open the device camera and capture photos and videos. All right, and after that quick change, everything finally works the way it should. At this point, the app already includes a set of pre-built templates for different property types, like residential, commercial, and rental inspections. And that gives my users a quick way to get started, but we do need a bit more flexibility to make the workflow truly useful. So let's tell the AI to enhance this by enabling a room by room inspection format and add condition rating fields such as good, fair, or poor. On top of that, users should be able to duplicate any template and also fully customize it, whether that means adding new sections or fields or creating their own custom rating scales. After setting that update, the system applies the changes. Now users can duplicate templates and then tailor them exactly to the kind of inspection they're doing, whether it's changing terminology, adjusting their rating options, or building entirely new sections, the customization tools are in place and are ready to go. So let's go ahead and take everything we've built so far and see it all in action. And you can instantly test your own app on your phone by scanning a QR code using the Expo Go app. No builds, no waiting. And to run the app on a real device, I'm going to scan the QR code and open it using the Expo Go app for a full mobile preview. After the app loads, I'm going to start a new inspection using the residential template. We'll enter the property details. We'll go through the checklist. We're going to add notes and record the GPS location and take a photo. Now, once everything is filled out, I'm going to sign digitally and tap complete inspection. The inspection saves instantly and appears under the recent inspections tab. And everything is working as expected. The interface is clean. As you can see, the steps are straightforward and the entire flow from starting an inspection to saving it, it all feels smooth and intuitive. And here's the best part. Because it's built on Rourke, you can instantly share your working app with friends or teammates without waiting for app store approval. And overall, it's user friendly and efficient to work with. However, sometimes during inspections, things pop up that need more than just a checkbox. Maybe it's a leaky faucet or a cracked wall or something that just doesn't look right. And to make sure those details don't get missed, we're going to tell the AI, allow users to flag maintenance issues and defects during inspections. For each issue, they should be able to add markup tools like arrows, circles, and text overlays on photos, create a follow-up task for repairs. And as a system processes that update, a few potential issues do come up. I'm going to fix them by clicking the fix now button and then send that over to Rourke. And once everything's resolved, the feature is fully active. My users can now flag issues directly during an inspection. They can use markup tools to highlight specific problem areas and photos, and then instantly create follow-up tasks. It's a solid upgrade that makes inspections not just faster, but also more actionable. So once an inspection is complete, the last thing we want is to have to spend hours formatting a report or scrambling to organize your notes. And that's where automation really makes a difference. So we're going to tell the AI, after an inspection is complete, generate a professional inspection report instantly. The report should include summary of findings and condition ratings, photos with notes and markups, list of flagged issues and follow-up actions, tenant or owner signature. Export the report as a PDF styled with a header, logo, and section layout. In this way, everything is handled for the user for me. I don't have to do any extra work. It's just a polished report ready to send off. And while the system is updating, another potential issue shows up. But just like before, I'm going to click the Fix Now button to sort it all out. And now the reporting feature is live. As soon as an inspection is completed, the app automatically generates a clean professional report for me. And it includes a full summary of findings, detailed condition ratings, and all annotated photos. The tenant or owner's signature 
picture is also captured at the end. Everything gets bundled into a polished PDF with a neatly organized layout and it's all ready to export and share instantly. Before we can roll this out to real users, we do need to connect a backend that handles sign-ins and securely stores inspection data. Supabase is perfect for this. It gives me a built-in authentication and database to manage everything from reports to uploaded media. So we're going to tell Rourke set up Supabase for user authentication. And that's it. At the top right of the screen, we'll click on integrations, open the back end tab and hit enable. Next, we'll head over to Supabase and create a new project. After entering some basic details, we're going to scroll up to the project overview and copy the public API key. And now back in Rourke, we're going to paste it in using this prompt. Here's the Supabase Anon public API key. And again, that's it. With that link, the next step is to tell the AI add user authentication. Now it's time to test the flow by signing up for a new account, but it doesn't work. But to fix that, we'll just go back to Rorg and type in Supabase authentication is not configured. Even after that, the app still isn't fully functional. So we'll enter a more complete setup prompt, something like this. Integrate Supabase as the backend to manage user authentication, sign up, sign in, saving inspections, checklists, reports, and templates, storing user uploaded media, photos, videos, and voice notes. Set up Supabase tables to organize data by user and link inspections to their templates and reports. Use secure role-based access to control who can edit or view inspections. From here, Rorks take care of all that backend complexity from database tables to user permissions through a single prompt. And this gives the app a proper backend structure, everything from account creation to storing reports and images. It's all now securely managed through Supabase. Everything is ready for a full test run. So I'm going to scan the QR code generated by the build and I'm going to open it using the Expo Go app on my phone. This allows me to run the latest version of my app directly on a real device without needing to install it from the App Store just yet. Now, unlike most builders, Rourke is the only platform that lets you easily share a live app before having to go through the full publication process. As soon as the app loads, user authentication and Supabase integration are fully active. And that means I can sign up for a new account or I can log in using existing credentials and all user data like inspections, reports and uploaded media. Those are all securely tied to the user's profile. And for this demo, I'm going to log in using sample details, just a placeholder email and password. And once I'm in, I'll tap a new inspection to start fresh. From here, I'll go through the full inspection flow. I'm going to enter some property details. I'm going to check off items from the checklist. I'm going to add notes, take photos, and I'm going to flag any maintenance issues. I'm also able to apply markup to images and assign follow up tasks all from within the app. After completing all of these sections, I'm going to tap the complete inspection button and the app instantly generates a full report based on the data I just entered. The report includes a summary of findings, condition ratings, embedded photos with notes and markups, a list of flagged issues with follow up actions and a digital signature from the tenant or owner. I can now export the whole thing as a polished PDF complete with the company logo, some styled headers and a clean section layout. Everything works exactly as expected, showing that the full workflow from login to final report export, it's all fully functional. And now that the app has been tested successfully, it's ready to be packaged for iOS distribution. I'm going to publish it to test flight so it can be installed and tested on real devices. To start, I'm going to go ahead and click the publish button in the top right corner and select publish to app store. In step one, the system asks for my Apple developer account credentials, which Expo uses to handle app signing and submission. This gives Expo the access it needs to handle app signing and submit the build to Apple on my behalf. So for this demo, I'm going to plug in a sample account so you can see how the process works. Step two prompts me to log in to my Expo Go account. Since Expo Go uses this account to manage the build and deployment pipeline, logging in is required. I'm going to use a sample Expo Go account for this walkthrough and I'm going to enter the credentials here. Step three is the confirmation step. At this point, Expo will display a summary of the information that I've entered, like my app name, app slug and iOS bundle identifier. So I can review everything and make sure that it's all correct. Once I confirm all of the details, I'm going to click the start publishing button and then proceed to the final step. In step four, I'm going to hit publish and Expo takes care of the rest. This begins 
begins the actual publishing process where Expo packages the app, uploads it to the App Store Connect, and prepares it for test flight review. Once that's all complete, the app will be available to test on iOS devices in a real environment, making it easy to catch any final issues before going live on the App Store. Our app is fully functional, it's easy to use, and it's ready to deploy, but building it is only half the game. The real opportunity starts when we put it in front of people who actually need it and use it. So let me show you how to find businesses that are still doing property inspections with, you know, clipboards and paper forms. These are your gold mine clients. So we're targeting property management companies, building inspectors, facility managers, maintenance contractors, and even pest control companies. Anyone doing regular inspections and doing quality checks manually. Now here's a simple strategy. We're going to go to Google Maps and search for these businesses. I'm searching property management Las Vegas right now. So you see all these companies in the maps pack. We'll click more businesses and boom, we've got dozens of potential clients already. Now here's why this works. Every single business you see here has to do regular property inspections. You know, they're walking around with their clipboards and pens and paper clips, scribbling notes, taking random photos, and then going back to the office to type it all up into reports. It's costing them hours every single day. Picture this, a property manager under all that Las Vegas heat is inspecting, let's say 20 units this week. He's got his clipboard in his hand, trying to write while also juggling keys and then a phone for photos. And then he's spending his entire evening creating reports from messy handwritten notes. Now, what if you could show him how to do all of that on one app and generate professional reports instantly? You can search building inspector plus any city, facility management plus any city, maintenance contractors plus again, any city. And each search reveals more businesses that are stuck in manual processes. You don't need an expensive lead list, just Google Maps showing you exactly who needs your solution. And these businesses are already spending money to be found online, which means they also invest in their operations. They just haven't digitized their inspection process yet. And that is our opportunity. We can do this for any city worldwide. Each search gives you a list of businesses wasting hours on manual inspections, but would gladly pay for an app that saves time and makes them look even more professional. This is literally our roadmap to finding clients who desperately need what we're building here. All right, so you've just seen how to go from idea to fully working product and not just any product either. It's one that solves a real problem and is ready to sell. We built a complete mobile inspection app. We added smart features. We connected everything to a real back end and we mapped out a strategy to land high value clients. Now, if this sparked ideas for your own build, please do let me know in the comments what you're planning next. I love reading those and hit like if this was helpful. And please also subscribe for more hands on tutorials like this one. It really helps me out on this channel. More zero code builds and real client strategies are on the way to you. So I'll see you at the next one. And thank you for spending your time with me today.